On the 20th of January 2022, we had a phone call from the Southern Waters site asking if we had any pumps in stock that could pump lime milk. Fortunately we did, but site didn't know exactly what flow rate they wanted, so we used a colleague of ours to deliver the pumps to site. On the following Monday, myself went to site just to make sure that everything on site was okay and to collect the pump that wasn't going to be used. While I was on site, I noticed a knocking sound, not coming from the pumps that were being worked on, but from across the road. And uh, when we went to investigate, noticed that the centrifuge feed pumps were leaking a lot uh, and that there was a lot of noise coming from the joint area. When I was speaking to the guy from site, I said to him that these pumps probably wouldn't have very much longer left before they needed to be maintained. Uh, he then told me that in eight weeks time they would get the spare parts. After a little bit of investigation, found out that we had the, the correct size pump in stock and because it was 2.2 bar on the gauge, we would be able to deliver a pump from stock the very next day. When the pump was installed, we had a phone call after a couple of days, uh, noting that it was uh, high amps being pulled on the pump. This could have been a couple of different reasons. The main reasons usually are high pressure or the inverter settings. We didn't think it was the high pressure because we witnessed on the gauge a 2.2 bar and this was a 6 bar pump. However, after further investigation, it turns out that somebody had turned off the valve to the discharge pressure gauge and was given a false reading and was actually closer to 9 bar. The solution that we gave to site was to clean the lines out so the inner diameter of the pipe had reduced, increasing the friction losses and therefore increasing the pressure, very much like putting your thumb over a hose pipe. When they cleaned the line out, that pressure reduced from 9 bar to just under 3 bar as expected. That pump was installed temporarily and ran consistently for a whole year before being taken out of operation for maintenance.